Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, Vicky's Informational Talk. Yeah, you heard that right, Vicky's Informational Talk. I heard that many of you were curious to know what VIT meant, and that's what it means, Vicky's Informational Talk. So Vicky is basically my nickname, and just like this YouTube channel is supposed to be, it's an informational talk. We talk about interesting informational facts. And today's topic is going to be about archipelagos. It's pronounced archipelago. It's the pronunciation is under the big archipelago. I'm going to help you um pronounce it and it will be a little hard. So if you don't get it on the first time, then don't be upset. You'll get it. I believe in you guys. So, it's archipelago. Archipelago. But before we start the video, I'd like to thank all of you guys for those views and positive comments and everything. I didn't even think we'd hit more than 100 views. By now, I think we have 280 views. When this video comes out, we might even have 290. Who knows? But now let's get started with our topic. What is an archipelago? An archipelago is a group of islands clustered together. Hawaii is an archipelago. Hawaii is located in the USA and yeah, if you haven't if you don't know where Hawaii is. Hawaii has eight main islands and a lot more smaller islands. The eight main islands are Nihiwahu, Nihiawu, Kwai, Oahu, Molokai, Lanai, Kaho Alawe, Maui, and Hawaii. There are also many beautiful places which are archipelagos, such as the Maldives. And fun fact, even I didn't know this, Hawaii is a main island of Hawaii. It's really weird. I didn't know that before doing this, um, researching for this lesson. So, yeah. In this image down here, bottom left, can can you see where the water is? If you can see it, you can see that all these islands are separated and not like connected with each other. So that's what an archipelago is. This picture is a really good example. Our next section is how is an archipelago formed? There are three ways an archipelago can be formed. First one being volcanic activity, second one is glacial activity, and the third final one is erosion and sedimentation, which you've probably heard if you're in fifth grade or fourth grade by now. First one is volcanic activity. An archipelago is formed by a volcano when it erupts from below the ocean floor. One example can be Hawaii. We just talked about Hawaii. Hawaii has many active volcanoes, which ended up erupting and making Hawaii an archipelago. Glacial activity is the second way an archipelago is formed. During the Ice Age, many big glaciers were formed. Like, big, big glaciers. Not tiny ones. Big glaciers. And when, when ice is melted, you probably know this, water comes out. So, think about how much water would have came out from those glaciers. A lot. A lot. So, this water flooded the low-lying valleys and left the mountains. And the mountains became archipelagos. Because there was mountains separated with water in between. I think you guys should get um an image in your head thinking of how it looks, but... Yeah, or else you could search up glacial activity archipelagos. The last way is erosion and sedimentation. Erosion is the movement of soil, rock, or any dissolved material by natural sources such as water flow or wind. This water flow and wind naturally transport sediments that gradually build up on reefs. One example of this is the Florida Key. Florida Key is also located in the USA. 
it's a good place to visit. So in case you ever go to Florida, you might as well remember to go to Florida Key. Our third section of archipelagos are the types of archipelagos. There are four types of archipelagos. First one is oceanic archipelagos, and the oceanic archipelagos go by their name, but just a heads up, pretty much all of these archipelagos go by their names, but I'm not gonna say it like that, and are mostly found in the ocean. These are the more commonly found archipelagos, meaning that these are the more, like the most found archipelagos, like these are the ones that were formed mostly. River archipelagos are the sec second type of archipelagos. River archipelagos are found in the river. One example can be the Thousand Islands in the U.S. If you go to New York State, you can find the Thousand Islands. Don't accidentally go to New York City. Not gonna find it. And second, if you do visit the Thousand Islands, fun fact, it's legit Thousand Islands. I thought maybe it would be like 960 something or 1,020, but later once I visited and came back home, I researched it, and apparently it's exactly a 1,000 islands, so it's legit. And the third way an archipelago is formed is a lake archipelago. Lake archipelagos are formed within lakes. One example of a lake archipelago is the Apostle Archipelago. It is near Lake Superior. If you don't know what Lake Superior is, it's one of the five great lakes in the USA. The last type of archipelago is an artificial archipelago, meaning it's created by people and not naturally formed, like the other three. One example is the Palm Islands in Dubai. So here's the picture of the Palm Islands. You can see all the spread out like islands and this is artificial. It looks artificial, and, mo and it is artificial. I was going to put the picture on the other side, but I didn't have space, so I kept it out here. And I think this is better. You guys can see it a lot bigger now. If you guys have ever been to the Palm Islands, put a comment in the comment section. Next, we're going to do a fun facts type of section like last time with the top five archipelagos i'm gonna say the top three but just before we start this this is the top five archipelagos by area first one the first country is indonesia with 1904 569 kilometers squared the second country with the most area archipelago is Madagascar with 587,041. And I made a mistake there on the first one. It's 1,904,000. Almost, actually, yeah, it's more than twice the size of Madagascar, which is crazy to think of. The third country is Pop Papua New Guinea with 462,840. And you guys can pause your video and just read it over if you want. Okay, now we're going to talk, talk about the top five archipelagos by number of islands. If you've took a sneak peek, and you'll probably see that this archipelagos by area section is different than the archipelagos by number of islands, which is very true because the number of islands has nothing to do with the area. Like, are any of those on here? Yeah, no. Okay, yeah, some of these, oh, actually no. First one, the archipelago country is Norway with 50,000 islands. The second one should say archipelago C, but it says archipelago. It's archipelago C with 40,000 islands. Third one, Canadian Arctic with 36,000 islands. The fourth one, Stockton Archipelago with 34,000 islands. And the Malay Archipelago with 25,000 islands. And guys, I'm sorry, this shouldn't say Archipelago countries. It should just say Archipelago. 
So it's a Norway archipelago, archipelago C, Canadian Arctic archipelago, Stockton archipelago, Malay archipelago. Oh, and I did the top five for that one. So I guess you don't have to pause your video and read it over. I explained it. But 50,000 islands is a lot, I'd just like to say. If it's 50 times one the thousand islands, think about how much it would be. Okay, and last but not least, thank you guys for watching. And for and just like last video, I really like the positive comments, the positive vibes and everything. So yeah, if you learn anything new, please like and subscribe. If you don't want to miss out on another interesting video like this, hit that notification bell. We're not done making videos. We're still going. And thank you for watching again. I hope you learned something new.